everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something a little different. It's not working on a vehicle, but it's something that kinda of you deal with from time to time when you are a mechanic or shop owner, and that is, what do you do with all your parts that you have to scrap? Those are items that there are no cores on. As you can see behind me, I've got a pretty big pile of stuff that I've gotta get rid of, and we've got some options. Now in this case, what I'm gonna to try to do is scrap it all. Take it to the scrapyard and try to get paid for it. And what we're gonna find out is, is it really worth my time? So by the time we get the tin, the cast, and the aluminum separated, did we make enough money to justify the time that we spent collecting it, breaking it down, and hauling it to the scrapyard? So that's what today's video is gonna be. 2023, is it really worth the time and effort to scrap the metal to try to make money or just give it away? Now all this scrap metal behind me is worth something to somebody. Now, is it worth my time? That's what we're gonna find out. Now there's plenty of people that I could just pick up the phone and call, they would show up, they would throw all this stuff in their truck or their trailer, they would separate, they would make some money. I wouldn't get anything out of it except for a clean space. I wouldn't have this eyesore, or this accumulation of stuff that's taking up space in my shop. The second thing is, there were groups of people that would travel and they would come around the dealership on a regular basis and they would actually buy the scrap metal from us. We all had a little pile in the corner. They might have gave us 25 cents for a brake rotor, maybe a dollar, two dollars for a radiator, something like that. It wasn't a lot of money, but again, we were getting something and they were also making money off it as well. Now the thing is, with the prices of what everything is as far as recycling the stuff is today, those people are far and few between. And then there's another option. There are charitable companies out there that are raising money by taking the scrap metal. What money they get, they throw it into whatever they're raising funds for. So you can give it to your buddy. You might find someone that might pay you a little something for it, or you give it to a charity. There are options. And then the last thing is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna load all this stuff up in the truck. We're gonna start with the tin and the, the cast and all that stuff, the brake rotors, anything that's metal, we're gonna throw in there and we're gonna kinda keep the aluminum for the last trip. Cause I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that what we have here isn't gonna fit in the truck the first go around. It's gonna probably take at least two trips. So let's go ahead and get this stuff loaded. Now for me, as I'm separating everything, I don't care if it's a brake shoe, this old cooler adapter, whatever, everything's worth something. So I'll throw the aluminum to the side, I'll grab my brake pads, shoes, everything, and just start separating it before I throw it on the truck. It's funny when you go through the pile that you see what you've done over the years. That's a lot of three six camshafts. Not to mention a lot of struts for some reason. So that right there is about an hour and a half to two hours of loading all this tin and cast as well as separating all the aluminum out. Now I can't tell you how many rotors in here. I know we probably got a couple hundred. We'll find out when we go to unload them. Hopefully I can count them before I pass out at the recycling center. But the truck's fully loaded. It's probably overloaded. But we got the majority of all that. So the, this run will be the probably lower money making items. Tin and cast. The uh, aluminum will be the last run with the clean and the dirty aluminum. Uh, but with that, I'm about to pass out as we say. This is too hot to do this in the middle of summer. Right now I'm feeling like this is not going to be worth the effort. But um, we're going to see what the prices are today. This is the month of June 2023. So stay tuned. Let's get some water 
Just get cooled off for a minute and let's head to the salvage yard. Let me show you that pile of aluminum. And as you can see, the pile of aluminum, mainly the radiators, is pretty extensive. This is stuff that I've accumulated probably over the last two years. And you can see one of the common repairs is radiators. But you'll see your turbo actuator, you'll see your thermostat housing, you'll see your water pump. Everything's got aluminum on it. Now this isn't clean aluminum, but again, it's worth more this way than it is if I throw it away as the cast or the tin that we're gonna take on the first load. So we're at the recycling center, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive across scale in a minute. It's gonna weigh the truck with everything that's on it. We'll go through, we'll empty everything, then we'll come back around and we'll see what the truck weighs empty. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. So looking at the indicator, you can see we're at 11,160 pounds, fully loaded. Probably overloaded, like I said, but again, that's what the weight is with the tin and the cast as far as all the rotors. So they'll take our ID, we'll drive through here, we'll check a few things out as far as where we need to dump. We'll try to get the cast off first, which is the rotors, and then we'll dump the rest. Now there's some uh, pros and cons about coming here and doing this because you could puncture a tire, you could have a lot of problems, you know. But again, that's what we're gonna be doing. This ain't the smoothest ride either. Again, you could puncture a tire. If it's been raining, probably gonna get your truck dirty. It's not like you just pull up somewhere and they sort it out for you. Nope. You're coming up in here. You're separating it. Going during the week, it ain't so busy. Weekends can be kind of crowded. And again, like I said, depends on the weather. You could be driving through the mud. And it looks like we're gonna be going through the mud today. All right, that was a total of 116 rotors and drums, 116. Now, that's unloaded. We can take the rest of the stuff and put it in the kind of generic pile off to the side. So, we're kind of halfway there. Don't worry, these catalytic converters, they're hollow. They're not worth anything. All right, so that's all the tin, all the cast. The heaviest of loads is done. Now we just gotta go back, get weighed on the way out, see how much the difference was, and that's how much we've thrown away. Then we head back to the shop, start breaking down the aluminum, throw it in the back of the truck, and we go to another facility nearby where we take it out of the truck, we put it on a scale, like a small scale, and they weigh it maybe four or five radiators at a time. We're not doing it by the truck weight. So that's the next step. All right, hang in there with me. <sighs> All right, let's see what the truck weighs. For some reason I want to say 4,500, maybe 7,500. I know that's stupid, I should know. It's been a while. Look at that, that was close. Well, it's 7,600 pounds is what the truck weighs. As you see, 7,600 pounds. So we had approximately what? Five, four, 4,000 pounds roughly on the truck earlier in the bed. 
So we're back at the shop. We're ready to go ahead and start breaking down all this aluminum and throw it in the back of the truck. Now, we got the paperwork from the way out and this is actually kind of a shocker to me. What we took and what it's worth was $284.80. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting something like 50, 70 bucks, something that would pretty much say, no, this is not worth it whatsoever. $284 for a full bed load of what they are considering mixed cast. Again, it just sits here, it piles up. That's $284. Let's see what we get for the aluminum. So what we're going to go ahead and do is grab all the aluminum that's going to be dirty metal, right? The water pumps or the pulleys, throw them all in here. We'll grab the radiators and the condensers that are already broke down that are clean. And then we'll start separating the tanks from the back of and the fronts and sides of the uh, radiators. As you see, these don't have the tanks on them. That's clean. Now when I break down the radiators so I can get the tanks off, what we gotta do is we've gotta basically pull back on these fingers. It actually kind of squeeze the tank and keep it attached to the aluminum part. Best tool I've found is a pair of vice grips. Just kind of get it set up good. And you just kind of clamp, bend. You're just gonna repeat this all the way down. And what I usually do is I'll do one full side, try to do the ends, and at that point, I can usually bend it off and get it off that way. Take a little bit of time, but that's what you gotta do to make this what they consider to be clean metal. Now that we've got the three sides kind of pried loose, we should be able to bend the tank off. Now we gotta repeat that to the other side and probably do this about 10 or 11 more times. So right now, timing myself, it takes about 45 seconds to get one tank off. So that's what, a minute and a half? So a minute and a half to do one, I see another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still got ten more to go, so roughly 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes max if I've taken my time and try to stay hydrated before I pass out. I should have all these done because I've already done about ten, so we're about halfway there. Now some more things to consider. When you're taking the tanks off the radiators, some of these radiators do have the trans coolers inside. A lot of them have gone to the external trans coolers where they're part of the AC condenser. Nonetheless, if you spend a little time taking these fittings loose, you can actually get these out as well, and they are made of aluminum. Uh, also, any kind of aluminum rims, those are worth something, so we'll get the rubber off of that, and we'll turn that in as clean scrap. Usually with these, you just need a pair of pliers, crescent wrench, something to kind of get the fittings loose. Take a little bit of effort. Get one side loose, do the other side, and it should drop right out. And then, you got something else you can recycle. Trash, this is money. And then not only this small damaged aluminum rim, we've got a larger one as well, which this is actually gonna be worth a lot. I say a lot. When you compare it to other things, it will be. This one obviously took some damage, so it's getting scrapped. So on this trip, we've got a total of 26 radiators and condensers that we've already cleaned. As far as taking the tanks off, we've got that large aluminum rim, we've got a small aluminum rim, we've got a lot of dirty aluminum like control arms, water pumps, and we've got those trans coolers that we separated from the tanks as well. So we're gonna see if what we get for this is the same as what we got for the, the cast or the tin mix. Of course, that was almost 4,000 pounds. This is a lot different. So we'll see, you know, weight-wise, what we come out with this. So the aluminum facility is different than where we went earlier, where we, like I said, where we weigh the truck. Here, we're actually going back up. 
We're going to unload and they're going to weigh everything individually. So now we've got the aluminum total and what money we made off of that. That was $118.22. So let's see what we got here. The aluminum wheels, we ended up with $21 for the big and small. All those radiators, that was $77. And then there's a lot of odd stuff. So we made $118.22, so we had that. And we're gonna have a check. We're gonna walk in this building over here. And then we're going to get a check cut for the combination of aluminum and then all that brake rotor and all the other metals. So the grand total for everything was 40302 for a half a day's of work and probably about two years of accumulating stuff. So if you have a lot of stuff, yes, you can make money. If you don't have a lot, you just got a couple radiators and some brake rotors. You're going to be a little disappointed again it's all about quantity when it comes to this so in the end i think it was worth it 400 dollars isn't nothing to joke about if it had been like 75 dollars i'd say heck no i'm going to go ahead and just let people start picking this up hate to accumulate it for that long start looking a little unsightly otherwise there is some money in it uh, and if you look on here you can actually see how everything breaks down so you'll see what the totals were per pound or what they call ton or whatever it is again we did make some money so in the end i feel like we did good so hopefully you like this video if so please give it a big thumbs up on youtube don't forget you can find me on facebook twitter and instagram if you got any comments or suggestions about anything you saw in today's video about the scrap metal please leave something in the comments below right below the video also if you shop on amazon which everybody does there is a link right at the bottom of the video at the beginning of the description click on that link make that your amazon homepage, and anything that you buy will help support this channel once again everybody thanks for watching <music>